and what a great day to sell something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B. This is Tech Guy from the Hive, and, and welcome, welcome to Floss Tube. Tube. We're so excited to be back with you this week. Uh, we did not want to go another week without filming, but just so you know, we're a little under the weather. So if we're a little groggy, a little slow, uh, we just filmed about 12 minutes <laughs> That's of Floss Tube. That's why every day, <laughs> <laughs> uh, We just filmed about 12 minutes of a Floss Tube, and I was like, we need to restart. This is such a downer. Yeah, I and he's even... like, I just, this is how we feel right now. <laughs> and it is how we feel. So we took a, a trip to Cincinnati this last week, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. Uh, but we took the kids to Great Wolf and, uh, it's our first real outing since, um, everything market of 2020. And so, um, with that being said, like, you know, immune systems are a little down. And so we picked up a cold, a family cold, and then it's just passed through everybody. So we just actually got back from the doctor this afternoon and all the kids have ear infections. So happy mother's day. Nothing like happy mother's day to three sick children who you get to mother and take care of my last day of vacation <laughs> yes. in all seriousness though like i was telling liz and steph last night like it just makes me so grateful that i am a stay-at-home mom and that i get to do i get to take care of my kids when they're sick without any repercussions whatsoever and so um like yes mother's day had like a little bit of a downer because our kids are literally like in bed sick but um like, who better than to take care of them on Mother's Day than their mother? And I didn't do it by myself. He was absolutely here and so helpful. He went and got food for us and uh, twice and everything. I felt like that's what we did yesterday. We survived the day with sick children and we yeah. ate. And our reward was go get food. Yes. <laughs> because I wasn't about to... I just... I looked at the grill, I looked at our food, I'm like... Oh, I'm and it was gonna. storming, like, all day yesterday. It was awful. It was gross. But... The good thing about that storm is that we know that we need to move our flower beds. Very true. So we worked on the garden this week. We can just segue right into right that. Into that. So uh, we worked on our garden last year. We uh, went to the nursery, which we talked to you guys about this. Phenomenal. I think in our last floss tube last week. Uh, but we have found just our favorite nursery. Like I love her so very much. So this year we're like like, like farmer owned. Yes, like Not her husband like... is an industrial farmer, mm -hmm. and then she uh, she opened a greenhouse, and it's wonderful. We love Fantastic. her so much. She's about 35, 40 minutes away from our house, yep. um, but it happens to be right down the street from my parents' house, so that's how we found her, and we decided this year we are going to try food cooking, so I think I told you that as well last week. Food that planting? Food, uh, food planting. I mean, I'm we're so always sorry. food cooking. Yes. <laughs> So we're basically doing like tomatoes and peppers and cucumbers and zucchini a little bit, radishes, lettuce, lettuce. Yeah. So we're basically just, we're putting a bunch out there to see what happens. If the only thing I get this year is tomatoes, I'm happy with that because my we goal eat. is oh, to okay. can a lot of tomatoes. Um, you would like to do when the I can, can can. I would like to can some tomatoes and my can can when I can can. Got it. Good. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we did a uh, garden planting. Our, all our flowers, most of our flowers are potted now. Yes. Um, exactly. You guys are so curious about the popcorn plant. I love that. I didn't read the comments. I'm sorry. Okay. So m a lot of the comments were like, this popcorn plant sounds so cool. Mm -hmm. And I meant to grab one of them. Um, but we gifted all the moms in our lives, these popcorn plants. And they're so cool. When you rub the leaves and smell your fingers, it smells like buttered popcorn and then it blooms these little yellow flowers that look like popcorn kernels and they're so pretty and so cute and I love them so much and you guys were so interested in them yeah so um definitely just research popcorn plant and see what happens um or popcorn flower so it's super cute one traveled with us one did travel with us yes we gifted one to Pam because like I said we gave them to the moms in our lives okay and so, um, so yes, one of the, the things, so our weather is not ready for transplant. Our plant is, our plants are ready for transplant. Our beds are ready for transplant because we did decide I don't do in ground planting very well at all. To all those who do, good for you. Because the weeding the situation is what I can't I do. do. I just hate it so much. So we decided we're going to do raised beds. We bought two ginormous raised beds and then a tiered raised bed. And we're doing all of our planting and that. And then our tomatoes have their own 18-inch pots with um, cages, tomato cages. Universal sign for... And so 
all our beds and pots are ready. Our plants are ready, mm -hmm. but our weather is not ready. Here in Indiana, we're still having like 37 degree nights, 40 degree nights. And it's just too cold. And I don't want to worry about throwing sheets over it and all that stuff. Because with the cold has also been very windy. So. I would like to think we're low maintenance planters. Yes. We're, so you can't walk through a pantry. Oh, no, it's a jungle. Yes, it is a jungle. But all our plants are safe inside and well watered. Well watered. How many times can we use that in a floss tube? So, yeah. Do you want to talk about our contest? Yeah, so every every time we have a span of time together, like when I'm not working or what have you, we usually have some type of contest. Um, it could be uh, card games, board games, this one with stitching. Uh, so how many stitches can we put in between the start of vacation and now? Um, at one point, Kia was beating me like leaps and bounds. She was like, oh, I put like 300 and something in two days. I'm like, what? Okay, I'm just not going to give up because that's just not how I am. So I started stitching and stitching and stitching and stitching. And I'm like, can you just like recount this? Because I'm like, I I think I am I know where I'm at, but I'm, I think I'm way off. Because at one point she was like 400 in front of me. And I just, you know, that's just how it was. So she counted and I actually uh, I had 860 stitches. I had, you had 877, so, I had 866. So I won it by a squeeze of like 16 stitches. 11. <laughs> Math <laughs> is not my thing, sorry. I, I'm all like foggy here, so yes. I apologize. Um, so what I, did you win? Oh, I won a date night. It's awesome. Yeah. So we have, uh, we don't go out. Obviously, our last, our first major outing since this whole thing has happened was Great Wolf. Um, but we like to be really creative about uh, indoor dates and things like that. So um, I'm really excited to do that. I'm cooking some dinner uh, for all of us. Uh, we're going to plan on something tonight. Um, just kind of relaxing and just spend some time with each other before I go back to work tomorrow uh, and things like that. So, yeah. yeah. So super fun. Yep. Um, I actually, 866 is like so little like an for off me week right for you in a week but i just really took advantage of the time he was home and like yes when we're stitching we're spending time together but there's a lot of interruptions and there's Life. other things we want to do like play cards excuse me and go to great wolf and all those things but i did get the majority of my stitching in while we were at great wolf because i got to visit with my best friend steph mm -hmm. it is actually so nice so we had actually planned a trip to Keepsakes on our way to Great Wolf. We couldn't get into Great Wolf until like 1. So I was like, perfect. We'll go to Keepsakes at 11. Hang out there for two hours. Shopping. Uh, visiting with staff. and uh, So we'll hang out there. And then we'll head over to Great Wolf. Yep. And um, so the plan was that... Um, we went through a massive storm. We did. It rained all the way there. Oh my word. It was awful. Our youngest so it usually takes was us... like hanging on the side of his. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the older seat. two were riding with my parents. We were uh, caravanning. So they were right behind us and they were riding with my parents. And of course they are oblivious because they're, they don't care. Uh, but our youngest is in our van and he's like gripping the sides of the he was so scared and i felt so bad he doesn't like thunderstorms anyway yes and because of the type of shunt he has he can't just like have an ipad or anything like that and we're not one to throw screens in front of our children right and so i had to macgyver um an ipad my ipad <laughs> so that he couldn't touch it you stretch for a little while yes and so um so that he could just like keep his mind off. he was just getting so nervous and i felt bad so um the plan was that at night, Stephanie would come to the hotel and we would spend some time in the lobby, she and I just stitching. And she and I are night owls. Uh, we will stay up until, I've told you guys this before, she and I have stayed up so late that Pam has come downstairs and I felt like we were in high school in trouble. Like, girls, you really need to go to bed. Um, and so we would spend a few hours into the early morning stitching. Uh, well, because of social distancing, because of uh, just one reason or another, whatever, there's not the, very much space in the, the lobby. The nightclub that like, was happening in the lobby? Correct. If y'all have never been to Great Wolf before, let me just tell you the nightclub uh, mentality that they have for um, 5 to 12 year olds that happens at 9 o'clock at night. And it is so like fist pumping loud and they get the kids all excited and then send them to bed. And it's just like, how do you expect kids to go to bed like that? Anyway, 
So Steph and I like couldn't even hear ourselves. It was nine and nine thirty when she got there and we couldn't even hear ourselves. So we went to our room uh, to stitch and hang out. I wasn't quite sure how it was going to work because my parents went with us too and I didn't want to like keep them up or whatever, but my dad could sleep through anything. So, uh, Plus we had a pretty big hotel room. Yeah, so it yeah. Like we had like one of their themed rooms and so... Um, like suites. Yeah, one of their suites uh, with the fireplace and everything. So uh, so we did that. We went back and stitched until like 1.30, 2 o'clock each night. And it was wonderful. It, was. it ended up being both of us got to hang out with her, not just me. And I just value time with her so much because it doesn't come very often. Um, we have not seen each other in person since Halloween. And that's the longest we've gone without seeing each other. Yeah, usually you guys are like a biannual. Yeah. So uh, this coming... Saturday, we will uh, have we will have met in person for two years. Wow. We'll be celebrating our two. I feel years like it's been longer. I feel like it's been longer. It does feel like that. How do you how do you remember your friend anniversary? Because the next day is our wedding anniversary. So the joke is the, the way she remembers our wedding anniversary is because it's the day before her friend anniversary. Is our wedding anniversary is the day after? So our friend anniversary is the fifteenth. Right. And our wedding anniversary is... Wait, that's how you remember our wedding yeah. anniversary. Yeah. So our anniversary is coming up, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Yes. All right. Um, do you want to talk about this? I would love to. Go for so it. So the giveaway from last week, and we like to just... Anywhere in the video, just because we want to be uh, true to y'all that are uh, buckling in and sitting with us through the whole ride, um, is Morgan. So hello, Morgan. Uh, her comment was, uh, love watching you guys. You're so cute together. Oh, thank you. Uh, my favorite Liz Matthews pattern right now is a butterfly cloche, which I have seen that in person and in beautiful. And it's on her wish list as my mom loves butterflies. I want to make uh, her one of her paperweights. My dad has taught himself to run a long arm. As talented as you are. That's very sweet. That is very sweet. Uh, you'll get it down in no time. Wow. I want to meet your dad. <laughs> right so morgan m you get to um we will send you butterfly cloche if you want to email me our email is in the description box below i will um purchase a digital pattern and send it to your email address so yes because it's easier to transport digitally i was just gonna say so we are in a season where the post is crazy and uh, we just need to do digital giveaways for a while because I really feel like giving back to you is um, something that we very really to want to do and we feel is very important to us. So while we have some wonderful, th like tangible things to give away that we could mail you, it's just that the post right now is just terrible. We can't um, guarantee it's going to get there. Correct. And we're finding it really hard to even get to our post um, just with life in general. And I don't want to keep someone waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to receive something in the mail. Um, and so we're going to do digital giveaways for a little while. But um, And that's and, the reason why. So yeah. it's not like we, we don't want to go to the post or anything like that. It's just we've had issues yeah. receiving and sending. And yeah. I don't want to send those those problems to y'all. You should be opening up a inbox or a mailbox and should be happy to see something and yeah. not be frustrated because the tracking's off or whatever. So yeah. it's just easier to go digital for right now. Yeah, absolutely. We may so, switch it up later when things I, calm down. I, I'm sorry to just cut you off. No, it's fine. I'm I fine. absolutely loved reading all the comments, though, of your favorite Liz patterns. She has so many good ones. And some of them, like, most of the comments I saw were not even new releases. It's, like, ones she's had for a while that are just really awesome. And so what are you, what are you staring off at? I'm actually thinking about this. Oh, so, okay. like... We know Liz Matthews before as You're a shaking oh, the table. Well, sorry. We know Liz Matthews before we knew her as a friend. And we respected and loved her designs and yeah. things like that. And it's just so cool to meet. And she's one of the designers that we're close to. Yeah. Um that I'm just so happy that they, they're just doing so well. And people love their their stuff and their personality just shines right through. Yeah. It's just awesome. Yeah. So Absolutely. Not all designers are created equal. So we appreciate Liz. Yes, we do. Um, so, Morgan, if you would email me, then we will get that right out to you. Speaking of good friendships, Ooh. our friend Jen Lee, have you Hi, guys Jen. watched her channel lately? So, she and her mom just hosted another 24-hour weekend. I think it's number 11. 
they done 11 of these so far? Jen, tell us. <laughs> I don't know that Jen knows. <laughs> um, but she is just, she is everything I aspire to be in cross-stitching. She's wonderful. And her organization blows my ever-loving mind. Y'all know how much I love her planner. Um, and this year I've started using as well her digital planner. And I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. I really struggled with whether I would like going to a digital format rather than pen to paper. And I've figured out that I really like doing both, uh, which is totally fine. I really enjoy it. So I choose to do that. So Jen has decided her 40th birthday is 222 of 2022. Jen being the numbers queen that she is, can't not do something with twos. I say that before you go into this. Yeah. Do you already know what this is? No. Oh, okay. I love you, Jin Lee. I love you as a friend. I love you as like a cross stitching person. I love you. But you are the biggest enabler. Oh, I love it. I don't. I I, I love that of you. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when when we're like paying for things, I'm like, it's Jin Lee. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. She's a huge enabler. So she had already done the under 40 whips by 40. Um, and so her 40th birthday is February 22. Oh. And so she was trying to get under 40 whips and until that point. I think that is still a goal for her. But the, the thing that has kind of taken over that goal is her announcement of her new birthday goal for what she will be doing the start of her birthday. Good for you. Are you ready for what this is? I'm afraid. So 222 of 22, she'll be 40 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. She has decided she would like 222 new starts. That's way better than what I thought you were going to say. From birthday to birthday. I thought she was in 2222. Don't challenge her because <laughs> she probably would. So she made an Instagram post yesterday. So on Mother's Day, go back and look at her Instagram. She made a fantastic post where she broke it all down into the amount of designer she's doing. Oh, the genres? Yes. Um, the amount of designer she's doing, the genres. She has a whole recipe. The designers. Like some, she's got a whole configuration and the numbers all mean something. So it's just insane to me. But the numbers all mean something. So you have to go look at her Instagram post because I did not write them down to tell you. But I just think this is fantastic because this is the life she's chosen. Like she loves cross stitch mm -hmm. so much. And she even said on her channel, and I hate that this is the type of community we are. But she's like, I know, I know once I tell you guys what I'm doing, I'm going to lose subscribers. Why? Why? Because this is something she chose to do and she loves it. I understand it. this is what we are choosing to be de divisive on. Right. But anyway, that's a whole different video for me. Yes. Sorry. So, um, you do you, boo-boo. So she's very excited and I'm so excited to like watch her do this. Yeah. I love watching her organization leading up to it. She pulled out her planner yesterday and she's like writing stuff all out. Like she's got spreadsheets on spreadsheets on spreadsheets. Like I can't wait to go to her house just so I can like see her spreadsheets. I want to see what the inside of Jen's brain looks like it's awesome so 222 new starts which is just fantastic Good for you. so in honor of that and just rooting her on and thinking that that is so incredibly special we want to give away one of her printable planners so I want you to put in the comment section down below what is a crazy cross stitch goal that you have in the next year like tell me in the next six months or a year, what is a plan that you want to have done? Do you want to make sure that you get this massive sampler done? Do you want to make sure that you get in 500 XYZ. stitches a week? Do you want to just like, you know, go on a no buying freeze? You know what I mean? Like yeah. what are, and it, and it doesn't have to be something tangible. It can be like, I don't want to purchase any more patterns. Or, we did that last year for the most, well, it was, yes. it was something like or that. Or like, but. I want to spend twenty dollars a month with a um, independent designer. Sure. You know what I mean, like something, um, something like that. I want to know in the in the next six months to a year. Tell me some lofty goal that you have or that you want to set for yourself, 
And let's just see how that works. I think it helps people put it on paper or put mm -hmm. it on a comment, right? Mm -hmm. To make it real. Because yeah. if you don't express it out loud, yeah. you can't, you can't, I don't know, get disappointed. But I think the point is to encourage you to do yeah. these crazy things. And it's okay if you don't meet those crazy things. But you like strive to be crazy about it. Yeah, exactly. Like that's good. Like, and, and I, I, mean, I don't mean crazy be... in, a, in, a, in a bad or anything like that. I'm just saying like something that's outside your comfort zone. Yeah. Is what I mean. I'm sorry if I misused no. that word. So I just think that when you push yourself to be outside your comfort zone. Yeah. And you put it down on paper or you put it down on a comment. It's out there, right? It's out there in the ether. And I think... When you see that, you're like, wow, I did do that. Let's see what we can do to, to make that happen. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, um, too, like, how amazing to be so passionate about something that mm -hmm. you want to set a lofty goal about it. Good for her. You know? I just think that's really awesome. So, um, I want to... So, what this will be is it will be a... Um, I will purchase it for you and then send it to your email address from Etsy. And then you will get... You will either print it out yourself, the sections that you want... Or you can send it to a store like Office Depot to have printed and bound for you. So, um, so I want to hear in your comments, what is a goal? And if it's not cross-stitch related, just tell me some lofty goal that you want to strive for. Could be planting so, food or, you know, exactly. whatever. Exactly. It doesn't have to be necessarily this, this box, right? You can think outside the box. Yeah. You want to be so. inclusive, right? And that's what we were trying to, we're trying to do and inspire. Yeah. Cool. All right, you want to talk about whips? Switching finally, gears, actually. 22 like, minutes in and we're finally going to talk about trying stitching. Trying to talk about stitching. Or All show right. some stitching, I guess, is oh. what we should say. Excuse me. Uh, this is my first Brender pattern. And I, we say Brender here at the high because it's we, it's short for Brender. Your beard is looking luscious. It's a, it's a bit dry. It is a, it's because it's we went swimming. So we went swimming so many times and my beard balm and my beard oil just couldn't, couldn't resist. They got over by the water <laughs> anyway so this is my i can hold this up thank you me. uh this is my first brenda gervais pattern i've ever worked on so we call her brenda i don't know why that is but that's what we because i could not pronounce brenda gervais i have to say it really slowly and i can't pronounce i think we need to make a new story about that um <laughs> so where liberty dwells yeah. boom that way you can look at it and talk about it Phenomenal. And I think the red, the Merlot just pops crazy. Um, and the windows, I didn't start, I didn't finish or anything like that. But I did a lot of block stitching. And my, my thought process on this, guys and gals, is that if I if I have a chance to beat Kia at a put how many stitches you can, mine as well will be block stitching. And guess what I did? I did some block stitching. Yeah. So... Very so this is your StitchCon small. That is correct? my StitchCon small. We are very much hoping to go to StitchCon this year. Yep. Um, and so this will be the StitchCon small. So I know some people. What are, is this on? Oh, you know, forty count silk weaver, purely primitive. And we kind of threw some uh, some colors together. Yes. So. I know I don't know if it's taboo. I think that's too much of a harsh word, but people don't want to share what they're doing for a smalls exchange. And I don't understand why. Because you don't know which one's my bag anyway. Right. It's not and like I'm going to show you the bag. Yeah, let's be clear here. Because um, I don't think this rule was followed very well in 2019. But your bag should be themed what is inside of it. So the one I got, I loved. But the outside of it was um, ladybugs. And when I opened it, it was bees. So... Um, I guess it is insect related, so I guess it did have a thing, but so like your bag or Has whatever like... we, we, whatever, however we wrap this will be patriotic themed mm -hmm. because it's patriot, because the last thing you want is for somebody to get, like, what if somebody doesn't celebrate Christmas and then they got a, That's they hard. got a Christmas exchange. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you, we, I appreciate the StitchCon team for trying to make that rule and enforce that to be like, we want to make sure that everybody enjoys the smalls exchange and understand that if like they don't like something it's not because anyway yeah anyway i don't want to go down that, that that path so um that's what i'm working on and this week was a great jump start a great um opportunity to knock a lot of it out yeah. i still got a lot to go um but i'm excited i think it looks fantastic thank you 
That's very nice of you. And okay. And this. So my smalls exchange is the blue flower quilting bee. I showed you guys this last week. Um, so this is my smalls exchange. So the fabric that's around this frame, um, that is not part of the stitching. It's just that B and then, um, it is, it is a little bit confusing. So there is a thin border around that. If you've not seen this in person and then like all these quilt squares, like this is all stitch, but nothing from this line down or over. And I was stitched. confused about that. Yeah. So I started working on this. Um, I want to say May 1st, but I actually think I started May 2nd because I think May 1st kind of got away from me. So I have... Um, this is beautiful. I've gotten 866 stitches in so far. But there we go. Like, that's incredible. So this is a B Stitch Me 46 count sand dollar and I love it. Wow, that's a low count for you. Like it's... It's so pretty. And let me tell you, um, I did a complete floss conversion. Um, I only kept one called for, but here's um, what happened. So I pulled the flosses that are called for and um, I'm struggling because dye lots are so different. They're finicky. And this pattern is 2018. So the dye lots from 2018 are so different from now. And there's... You could ask stuff. There's like a whole explanation because dyes change, but something specific happened in 2020 with blue dye, she was telling me. So like a lot of things were off. Anyway, so I basically, when we went to keepsakes, I started this the day before we went to keepsakes and I'm glad I waited because <clears throat> I called Steph that night and I was like, dude, I'm struggling because the B color that is called for is now very green and... Um, I don't want a green B and the inside of the wings calls for mountain mist. Um, but mountain mist from gentle art now is like monopoly green and it isn't that like really pretty, like opalescent bluish gray color. So I was like, I don't know what to do. She's like, just bring what you have and let's try and do it. So that's what I did. I went and I just laid out my project and all my flosses on the table at keepsakes and the girls just kind of helped me. Steph and I went upstairs and we pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled. And I ended up with like this fantastic color conversion. So I love this. I think it's beautiful. I'm so excited to like make more progress on this. I went with um, whiskey now for the B color. So I just think it's beautiful and I can't wait to like make more progress because this is just one of those projects where I'm like, I just want to see more and more of it done. So I'm very excited about it. And I'm so sorry. My nose is running so badly. Better okay. catch it. Yes. Okay. So my plan for this week is just to continue to keep going on to that. What about you? Uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but the caveat. There is a caveat. We do have an anniversary start. <coughs> so do, sorry. You're good. <clears throat> we do have an anniversary start that we want to do together, so we will take a break. How many years will we have been married this year? Oh, man, 12. 12. It's, uh, it's our oldest plus two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so, I have our anniversary day off. It doesn't happen very often because I'm negligent on requesting that day off. So, um, next week I have a day off, celebrate our anniversary. Um, nothing crazy planned, but just spending time with each other and spending time with our family, um, with our kids and things like that. So I'm pretty excited about it. And recently we just swapped it out, right? Yes. We so we did have another plan. We did have another plan. I think it was last week, the week before, after we said that plan, we're like, we really like this or no. So you pulled out the Teresa Kogut, uh, book. Yes. Yeah, so this is Teresa Kogut above all. And you're thinking, I know, like, you're thinking to yourself, but Kia, didn't you already start that? And I said, so what? Who cares? And he did say, so what? Who cares? So, um, we are, I only got a few stitches in. This like, is, um, very, very small amount of stitches. Yeah, stitching. so this is, um, one of my 12 by 12 that I did on New Year's Eve. Yep. And so we are just going to overhaul this and take it over as our anniversary start. Yep. So this is going to go on, um... 40 count PTP in Heartland. 
Like it's beautiful. I love it so much. And we're doing all the called for colors. Yes. And so we'll both stitch on that a little bit on our anniversary. Just so taking time to reflect where we've been. 12 years. It's like a decade in two years. I know. Wow. I know. Absolutely. But we've known each other longer. Email. Email. Man. Yeah. So we're looking at like. Well, we've known each other since we were seven. It's 28 years. That's disgusting. All right. Did we say that right? We know we, we've known each other for 28 years. How old are we this year? Well, right now I'm 34. And I'm only 33. So 27. We homeschool our children. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> so 27 years. Yikes. 27 years. Yes. So our relationship has been out of lessons, been a teenager, got his driver's license, moved out, paid his own taxes, and probably has his own family. Yeah. Or her family. Holy cow. Yeah. It's not awesome. So we will be celebrating next Sunday. I'm very excited about it. Good night. <laughs> you okay over I'm, there? Yeah, I'm dry over here. Okay. All right. So 27 years we've uh, we've done this, and we've done this part before. Yeah. So cool. Speaking cool. of milestones, dude, huge congrats, huge kudos to these two lovely ladies that had just. Grinded out Taken week after full week, too by storm. Just you know, uh, another set of enablers. Thank you, ladies. Um, Pam and Steph celebrated our two hundredth episode this week. This week, just think about it. There are some series on TV don't even get to two hundred episodes. That's insane. Yeah, that's nuts. That's. Crazy. So congrats, ladies. Congrats. That's congrats. really awesome. That's, That's really fantastic. Cool. Um, you know. And they're getting ready to celebrate their four years of business. Right? Wow. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Four years. So that's pretty exciting. Incredible duo. Um, you know, it's just uh just fantastic ladies. Yeah. And uh, you know, just congrats. That's awesome. Because you guys are just, you stuck to it and you have made a lot of cool changes. Uh, you've influenced a lot of people. You've enabled a lot of people. Let's, I wouldn't say influence. You've enabled a lot of people. Uh, inspire a lot of people. Um, and just be yourselves the whole time. And nothing changed you. Nothing uh, shook your foundation. And it's really good to see and know both of y'all. So what a treat for us. And they started to, like, be able to do something together and bond no. as mother and daughter. And look where they're at now. Dude, fantastic. So awesome. Fantastic so journey. Awesome. I'm glad we can be a part of it. Yeah. All right. So I have something really fun to share with you guys that we have been sharing in our floss tubes now for a little while. But our Creative Notions box is what? here. I know. So this is a quilting subscription box that we get from Creative Notions. Uh, the owner. But why do we do this? The owner and curator's name is Vicky. Hi, Vicky. And she is amazing. Her family is amazing. She is amazing. Um, her company is amazing. Oh, another wonderful woman. Love, love, love the subscription box. And we shared it with you uh, in the past in floss tubes. And I want to share it with you again because I think it's a really fantastic investment in um, the fact if you are a quilter, even if you're not a quilter and you're a cross stitcher who likes to dabble in a little bit of fabric, this is fantastic. This is up your alley. Um, yes. So it is, it always comes with like a little sheet that tells you what's in it. You say right? little sheet, I say cheat sheet. Cheat sheet, <laughs> yes. Um, they actually come in these bags, which double as project bags. So actually where Liberty dwells, which is what Tech Guy is stitching on right now, yep. his is in a yellow gingham um creative notions yep. bag because we utilize them as project bags Correct. so um let me show you what's in this bag so not only do they give us like really great clothing goodies but they also give us like amazing candy and they always send enough for the kids 
which is so thoughtful and that's how thoughtful Vicky is like all the time I just I appreciate her so much so then we get some patterns that are in here then this time we got a sewing machine mat and accessor accessories pattern fantastic look at that that's good with all the requirements and stuff for that Okay, and out of this, this is a foundation paper for string blocks. So we got, whoa, these um, are like for 10 inch. Wow, we are blowing ourselves out here. These are for like 10 inch squares. And it's foundation foundation paper, paper piecing, piecing that you can um, put them. So this is what they are. And then you can put them into a different order. So correct me if I'm wrong. Which is fantastic. This, is, you... this is pretty easy if you want to start dabbling in quilting. Yes, fantastic. This is very piece by piece. This is where this one goes. This is yes. where this one goes. Because I get stuck and I don't, I get dumbfounded when I see quilters or you put things together. I'm like, why did you put that piece there? Or mm -hmm. what did you actually like? Because it goes together. Sometimes you just get stuck. Sometimes you just need a guide. So this is pieces of paper. And it tells you um, on this specific one here. Yep. Block A is in black. So you you um, sew on the black lines. Yep. If you are going for block B, it's in red. So you would sew on the red lines. If you're going for block C, it's the blue lines. Which I know on camera you can't really tell that there are different color lines. But, but there, there are. are. And then do you see how some of the lines have little scissors? Wow, if I hold it up closer, then it's going to get blown it's out. Blown out. Um, on the other side. Okay, here we go. So do you see how that pair of scissors? That's so you sew your fabric. This paper mm -hmm. goes on top of your fabric. Yep. You sew on the lines. Yep. You flip it over, and then you cut where you're supposed to cut. And you rip the paper away. Mind blown. It's amazing. We have um, one or two videos on our channel of foundation paper piecing. Yep. Creative Notions has a channel of their own where they walk you through this kind of stuff and it's amazing. So check it out. So, but that's not it. Like you don't owe it, you don't just get all of this stuff. And there's a lot of paper in here. Like you can make a good size. And first of all, that would this. be good enough for just what you're paying for per month. Correct. But so she gives you more. Exactly. So let me get this cute little bundle. Okay, so it has what I assume are fat quarters of this gorgeous, like gorgeous fabric line. Look at those flat, like this gives me such a good spring vibe. And then to the front of this are these cute little blue oh, scissors. Oh man. And they have little X's all over them. Oh, they're so cute. And their logo as a charm keychain that you could totally use as a scissor fob. Look how cute. Their logo is the camper, which I just think is so they, cute. Yes, it's nine fat quarters. So nine fat quarters. Yeah. Valued at $28. The foundation paper pack is valued at $12. So right 40, there, we're at 40 bucks. bucks. This box is $48 a month. That's it. $48 a month. And already with just these two things, you're at 40 Not to mention all the things I haven't shown you yet. So this fabric. Um, oh, she gets to unwrap the fabric. Yeah, if you've been watching our channel <laughs> for any length of time, you know that I do not like tech guy to open all the fabric. <laughs> but look how pretty this fabric is like it's gorgeous i love it <clears throat> yeah it's awesome i love foundation paper piecing so i will probably be doing this i just think it's fantastic so um and like tech i said this is a great beginner or a um, gift pattern like if you're just wanting to like tiptoe into quilting foundation paper piecing is a really good way to go okay and then we get a Four and a half square up ruler from Creative Notions. That's nice. And it's bright yellow, so when you put it down on your fabric, it's gonna be, you're going to be able to see it. So squared up ruler. And then the cutest little mesh bag to hold it all in. For leftovers. Right? So I can throw this and my little scissors and my little scissor fob in there. Isn't that so cute? So we've got this with all its little goodies, the fabric, the patterns. The sewing mat pattern, which calls for, um, it just says fat quarters, scraps. So you've got about a yard and a half, so maybe a few fat quarters and you can make this stuff. And then all the little like freebie patterns and stuff like that. So Creative Notions actually is a fantastic company and you guys should really look into that if you're wanting to add like just a little, it's like a little gift for yourself. Or for someone month. else. 
Or for someone else. Right, or if it's something that you want to do with a significant other, or you want to do it with a friend of yours or family member. Yeah. It's definitely something that you're not going to go too deep monetarily wise. Mm -hmm. Think you're like, ah, that was a mistake. Yeah. It's definitely a no-brainer here. So. Yeah, I I do love Vicky. So thank you, Vicky, thank again you, Vicky. for sending that to and us. We like to share it with y'all because... And we started putting it in our floss tubes three or four boxes ago uh -huh. um, because I felt like we've separated y'all wanted to, I, yeah. I felt like y'all wanted to see that stuff and it's, um, I don't know. I just really we just want to share it with you. Yeah, absolutely. So, okay. Speaking of Paul, 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 color and cotton came in. It's a longer video for us today, guys. I'm honestly surprised that one cough is the only one I've had so far. Ooh, Lugana and Newcastle. Is it spiced honey? Spiced honey. That's what I call my wife. <laughs> Don't tell her that. There you go. Look at that. I just, again, it's That's just really incredible. Pretty. It's incredible. They're both beautiful pieces. Just incredible it's how different fabric catches color. Yeah. Um, I need to email them because we no longer stitch on 32 count. There's something wrong with that. And we just have a ton of eighth, um, fat eighths. <laughs> well, we might have to just pull up a D stash. Whoa, almost fell off. We have probably a dozen, um, color and cotton 32 count fat eighths that we just need a D stash. And I need to email her and ask her to take these off of our subscription because we both are 36, 40 or higher. Or take it off or double down on the 40. I would probably double down on the 40. I double down on the 40. So you can't yes. have enough fabric. Spiced honey. It's so pretty. I love Spiced it. Spiced honey. So let's do a little keepsake haul. Ooh, girl. Green gingham bag. Green gingham bag. Look at that. It's not a video without you trying to hit me. It's not a video unless I try to hit you in the face. Okay. So first and foremost, Rebel Stitcher makes <laughs> the cutest in the land. Colleen. Colleen. Co <laughs> Listen. God, we love you. I don't mean to be offensive when I say people's names wrong. I guess I've been saying Colleen because I thought that's how you pronounced her name. I'm sorry. Because I have friends who are named the same thing and they are called Colleen. One friend who goes to our homeschool group. And she likes to be called Colleen. And so I just assumed and I shouldn't. And Steph's like, you know you're saying her name wrong? I'm like, no. To the point no, that I'm Steph not. was about to sing us a song. Yes. Colleen. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, she just makes the cutest needle minders. She's funny range. gal. And when we were at Keepsakes, I spotted this one. Actually, our 10-year-old spotted this one and knew that his dad needed it. It says, believe in yourself. It says, believe in yourself. It's so cute. Fantastic. So there we go. And then he needed some new needles. So not not the Sasquatch, but this Sasquatch <laughs> needed new needles. <laughs> okay, and then there you go. Yep. And then I picked up this Lucy Beam. This is Rabbit House. Um, I don't know why I've never seen this before, but it's so cute. It's a berry bowl with a house in it. It's like the two things you need. I love it. So I picked up that and then this tiny, cute little prairie schooler. So cute. Little B. And then O is for old glory. Little zappy dot. Ooh. They're such nice people. Yes. And then of course, I don't call me different. And who was it? Lenny. Lenny pointed this out. Yeah. The difference between when I shop in an LNS versus what Kia shops in LNS, we'll get to that moment. But I don't go out there and collect things. If you know much about me, if I you don't, know, then you know. You know that you know, right? But I, I just fell in love with these things. And there's yeah, like a whole, up. there's two of them. So, Skeleton Potion. And Brit Bitter Brew. There's a series that they did. It's like four or five. And Kathy Haberman. Yes. Hi, Kathy. Um, they strung them. You the say hi, Kathy, like she watches our channel. It, it would be rude if I didn't say hi, and she did. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Thank you. So this is Scary Apothecary. Series. Yeah, I love the Scary Apothecary thing. And I know I'm going to get it in the comments. We don't celebrate Halloween, but we like Halloween stuff. I can't explain it. It is what it is, and I don't know what it is. Are you going to do these monochromatic? Uh huh. Yeah, I thought so. With like a good variegated. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. I thought so. Yeah. Okay. That's my jam. Monochromatic pieces are like my jam. 
That's where I'm at. That's where I sit there. That's where I settle. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard because like this, how do you do the words? We'll figure that out. Yeah. One step at a time, Kia. Um, so. Both of those are cute. Kia, I don't know what Lenny said. And she said it in the nicest way. Better than what I'm going to say now. One of us is the hunter and one of us is the gatherer. Yes. It's the hunter and gatherer mentality. Um, yes. I actually don't think that that, I think that was Nancy that said that at the table. Well, hi, Nancy. But Lenny was standing there. And, and she Lenny. said it's the hunter and gatherer. Because I was like, I have no intention of starting this um, Lucy Bean anytime soon. And um, and I picked it up at the same time he brought these downstairs. And I said, is that the only two you want from the group? And he was like, yeah. And then Nancy said, it's the hunter and gatherer mentality. So I think that's really interesting. Very interesting. And there's yeah. no wrong way of doing it. I mean, my one's better. Correct. Um, <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was not fully paying attention what to what you just said. Yeah, that's that at first. Um, spiced honey. Um, but it's just something, it's just something else that people see. Uh, I didn't see in ourselves when we shop yeah. that way, or like, I know what I want. Yeah. And I'm okay for not, because I didn't kit this. That's right. I didn't kit this because I'm like, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I do want it. Yeah. And I know it's not going out of style. I think I said, do you want fabric? I know it's not, I mean, this is just a couple years old, if that. Yeah. Uh, I know it's not going to be out of print or anything like that. It's just like, I know I have another one and I know it's not these two. Yeah. yeah. So, sorry. I, I, I digressed. No, you're fine. Go ahead. All right. The last thing we have to talk about, we got a lovely package in the mail this week from Diane Ashcraft. Di Ashcraft on, it's D-I dot Ashcraft on Instagram. And she sent us these and I just thought they were so incredibly sweet. So she runs the... Twin Peak exclusive. Hi, Diane. Hi, twin, twins. Twin Peak Primitives exclusive shop on Etsy. And um, she saw these. She said she sent us a cute little card and said, just wanted to say thanks for all of your floss tubes. I really look forward to each one. I saw these journals when I was at Michael's today and thought you guys needed them. Look how cute. Diane, are. I thought we were friends. I don't need you to enable my wife. Be happy. <laughs> this one has hexagons all over it. That and a cute. gold shimmery bee. And then that one says Queen. That may or may not this have one? row legs and walk out. This one? Yeah. Thanks. And then a super cute. Oh, this is good. From Stitchery Express. This needle minder that says Blue Carpenter Bee. And it's a wooden needle minder. Let me show the label. It's I cool. I assume it's maybe burnt. they sell on Instagram. Or Instagram. On Etsy. Yep. Um, and so we got that and I just thought that was so sweet. And so when I said, when I sent her a note and said, thank you, she said, oh my goodness, I just saw them at Michael's and knew you had to have them. So that's so sweet. Cause I can't tell you the last time I've been inside of a craft store. So I would have never known they had them. So that's really sweet of her. Today. I wasn't. You went to Joanne's. Did you actually go in? I had to. They didn't let you do curbside? Nope. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's a different video. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so thank you very much no, publicly, are Diane, equal. for um that wonderful little sweet note and um gift in the post so all right Whew, guys i'm so sorry it is a long video for us today so thank you so much for watching and what nothing actually we're, we're giving them a, like 11 minutes back <laughs> <laughs> very true um, but anyway, thank you so much for joining us on Thanks the for hike hanging out today. With us. Yes, we will see you next week um, after our anniversary, so you'll get to see a new start from us. And um, yeah, awesome. All right, well, thank you guys so much, and you have a great week. Bye.